Hello, everybody. My name is Brandon. This is Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this game I've been playing for a while. I really, really enjoy this game. It's an indie game made by Squad, as you can see in the corner. Uh, their development team based out of Mexico. So, I've uh, recently sort of I've been watching uh, the Discovery Channel series on Netflix that is called When We Left Earth, and it inspired me to make a Let's Play series about Kerbal Space Program and the beginning of the Kerbal Space Program. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like the United States um, in their space program. So we're going to start out, let's call this the KSA for the Kerbal States of America. All right. Um, so yeah, what I want you guys to do is close your eyes, use your imagination. Well, don't close your eyes because then you can't see the video. But close your eyes and use your imagination. This is the Kerbal States of America. It's the middle of 1961. And the Kerbal president, John F. Kerbal Entity, he says, we should go to the moon, not because it is easy, be but because it is hard. Sorry, not the moon, the moon. We should go to the Mun. All right. It's 1961. The U.S. is building the first space ship. So I think in this episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine a couple of things. Um, like, uh, <laughs> I just hit my fucking head on the microphone. Anyway, um. I'm not going to go through every single little step that the United States went through when they were developing their space program. Like, I'm not going to test to see if this capsule can land safely in the water or anything like that. I think in this episode, uh, we'll probably combine a few things, like sending the f our first rocket into space, also getting that rocket into orbit, and performing our first EVA. Oh, I'm going to start. Okay, first thing... Oh, that's big. First thing you want is a parachute because since this is a manned space program, we want our astronauts, or as they are known in Kerbal Space Program, our Kerbal Knots, we would like them to return safely back to their home planet of... Urban. I'm just going to build a... Whew, actually, it's been a while since I've built just like a simple rocket. Um, dang. I think what I'll probably do is use liquid fuel. Um, so what are, we, what are we doing in this one? We're going to orbit and we're going to do an EVA and then return home. So actually what I want to do is this stage right here will just be for our return back to get out of orbit. Okay, this is our stage that is going to put us in orbit. Uh, probably use three. And then... What I'm going to do is... Also, I'm going to put... Three of these bad boys. And then this will be what gets us off the ground. Brilliant. 
can get this thing on there. There we go. All right. So this is our first rocket. And since this is Kerbal Space Program and everything has to have something to do with Kerbal or something, and the first American space program was the Mercury program, Kermkury, yeah. One. Nice, I like it. Um, actually, for stability purposes, I am gonna tie this down. So that it doesn't fly. So it doesn't wobble apart while we're flying in the air. All right, save that again. All right. I don't know if you guys are ready, but the media is going crazy for this. This is the first launch of the brand new Kerbal States of America space program. All right, in five. Four, three, two, one. Hey, that's not a bad start. Nice, good, stable liftoff. Oh, the fuel is going down really quick, though. <laughs> hey, but we're brand new space program, so there's going to be a few keys. may have to make this first stage have more fuel in it. Man, but this is a steady liftoff. I like this. The engineers at the Kerbal States of America space program are getting a raise. I mean, we're almost out of the first part of the atmosphere, so almost. Start a gravity turn here in a minute. I don't think I want to start it yet. Oh. Go for it now. think we'll be making it to orbit. Well, I don't know. We'll see. How big do I want my apparatus? Let's see. Further out the apparatus is, the less fuel we need to get into orbit. First, I need to stop spinning. Oh. We have two full things mm -hmm. of fuel. This may be enough to get us into orbit. I am not for sure. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. About to go out of control. Ah. All right. We are steady there. Oh man, 90,000.
All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, God. All right. So, what's our episode? 89,000? All right, let's try it. Let's start burning now. The only thing what I'm hoping on is since the ship is very light, we may be able to pick up enough speed to get into orbit. This is going to be a very low orbit, though. Get right on that 90 degree line. Well, we still have another tank of fuel. Uh, jeez. I don't know. Oh, man. Nope. Not gonna happen. Well, maybe. Come on, spaceship. Actually, I think we will. Hey, look at this. Huh? Huh? Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Woo! We did it! On our first launch. 107 by 89. I mean, it could be better. I'll take it, though. Not bad at all. Not bad. And <laughs> with just barely any fuel remaining. 8.6 liters left. Not bad. This is might be the lowest orbit that I've ever done in a long time. Get a good view of our home world. So, I probably, let's see here. All right, so this is where we launch, right around this area, I believe. So, I've never actually successfully landed back at the Kerbal Space Center. And I think I might try it today. Damn, that's a nice looking orbit, if I do say. All right. So, our first objective was to get into orbit, and we have done that. So, we're doing multiple things at once with the space probe. Well, at least that we're doing multiple. We're completing multiple objectives in this first mission that the United States program had to as well. Let's see. Oh, look at the beautiful stars. And if you double click on the windows, you can actually zoom into them, which is a really cool feature. I like that. Because from back here, it's really hard to see. All right. So, Shabadaya. The always smiling Jebediah. Wow, I didn't know you could zoom in that much. That's awesome. Oh, I learn new things every time I play this game, and I love it. All right, Jeb. Let's stretch your legs. Let go. Turn on the rocket pack. I am very bad at EVAs, especially with uh, rockets. Oh, shit. Uh, go... Yep. Let's see. Yep. Oh gosh. But hey. So when uh during the Gemini program or Gemini, I I don't know if it's Gemini or Gemini. Somebody please tell me. Anyway, one of the objectives in one of the missions was to perform the first EVA because you have to figure out how to maneuver in space if you're going to land on the moon, which will be our goal. <coughs> All right, well, that was shorter than shorter than the uh, first EVA ever done by an American, but this is Kerbal Space Program where we do everything quickly. All right. So... 
We are in orbit. Let's just take a look at the, our beautiful home world. I love the new graphical features of version 0.17, especially this new atmosphere effect. Ugh, it looks gorgeous. This is a really good looking game for considering how early in development it is. All right. I'm going to fast forward a minute. And I will bring you back when I am ready for the orbit. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. I think I'm uh, I'm so bad at reentry. I think I need to wait a little longer. So I want to land pretty sure we left off like right in here so I think I want to start getting out of orbit maybe at my periapsis I'm gonna fast forward a just a little bit out and see what happens. I mean, regardless, I'm going to be safe back on planet Kerbin, but it would be cool if I could land back at home and I think I'm... Nope. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use what fuel I have left in my first stage to begin my retrograde burn. That is the term for when you burn against your momentum. So this is to cancel out any, well, it is the way of getting out of orbit. Oh man, I need to do this quick. Shoot. All right. Spend the rest of that. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's get back to my map. All right, I need to cut it like probably right there because the atmosphere is going to slow me down. That was hilarious. My Kerm Curry. Kerm Curry. <laughs> that sounds like a bad Indian dish. Kerm Curry. All right. Now when I enter back into the atmosphere, it is going to slow me down. So that's why I put a little bit of room between between the land and the sea so I should be hitting the atmosphere here any second well yeah here in a minute so far I'd say this is a successful first mission um we accomplished all of our goals we we got into space as you can see with the uh stars and galaxy around us there's our there's our beautiful mun which will be the next goal of ours um we got into space we got into orbit which i was afraid we weren't gonna have enough fuel for but surprisingly we got into orbit very low orbit too, I might add. Um, I haven't. I normally I orbit around 150 to 2,000 meters high, so it's very very low orbit cons compared to how high I've been orbiting recently. And we did our first EVA, so we know what it's like to be in outer space outside of the safety of our capsule. So. I think I'm going to miss Space Center. Shoot. We'll see, though. I think it's over here. I, I'm not good. I've never been able to land back at the Space Center. 
we'll s we'll find out. This probably isn't even the right continent. I'm trying to see if it'll load in here. See, I think it's over here. Here we go. Getting back into the atmosphere. I guess in the in future updates, the team is going to add um, uh, heat phase or, or when you when you oh actually that might be it right there. Uh oh, this may be perfect. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Should start slowing down here. Actually, I am gonna burn just a little more uh, I think that's a lake damn it yeah it's that's that lake right there oh well maybe we can land in that lake oh wait 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 no I think that might be it I think I might be it right there I think that's it. That's definitely it. There's a launch pad. This is perfect. Uh oh. Except I think I'm slowing down too fast. Crap, 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 crap. Well, it's definitely it, though. So, so, I mean, at least we're within, like, couple hundred meters of it. Well, not that close, but I'm going to be risky here. Uh-oh. I'm going to try and give myself a little bit of a boost <laughs> to get over there. Uh. 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 Nice thing is, is if we wanted to, we could build a rover and go and pick up old Jebediah. Yeah, we probably won't do that though. I'm not, not too big on the whole doing rescue mission th things right now. More just about flying. But hey, I've never landed that close to the to the space center. That's that's really cool. So we got our parachute deployed here. And Mr. Jebediah, the first Kerbal American. I guess it's the first Kermigan. <laughs> the first Kermigan in space. And the first Kermigan to orbit the Kerbin. <laughs> and the first Kermigan to perform an extra vehicular activity. I would say this is a very successful first mission. I am pleasantly surprised. So we'll drift safely back down to Kerbin planet side. And I will. Look, there it is, right there. You can see that's so awesome. Normally, I freak out when I play this game, and I just just perf do things very irrationally and and quickly and without without thinking. So that was probably the most most impressive flight I've had in this game. And I have visited other planets, so that shows you how terrible my visits have been. And we're on the ground. Let's... Oh my gosh, you dropped like a foot. Uh, this must
must be like some sort of glitch or something. Yeah. Huh. Well. Let's see if. I just want him to. Oh, what happened? Uh oh. Uh, I will. I think my game just crashed. Okay, so I am back. Uh, my game did crash, and when I loaded it back up, I was here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get to the Kerbal Space Center. Just gonna burn the rest of this fuel. has any effect. Um, looks like that may have worked. I'm going to wait until I'm directly above it. And then I'm going to open up my parachute. Huh. Hey, well this is even better. Nice. Uh, I like this. Uh-oh. Actually, I may overshoot it. Um, oh, no. All right. Let's see where... How am I doing on my map? Oh, God. All right. I'm going to drop my... Open up my parachute. All right. Oh, well, this might close down, actually. Heck yeah. Hey, this is even better than last time. Sorry about that whole game crash thing. I think that um, had to do with that glitch with Jebediah not finding the ground. But hey, we've got a better laning this time, so... We can just walk over there. Oh yeah, speaking of which, since I am so close... I am going to walk around... Space Center, because I've heard that there are some Easter eggs hidden around there, so let's, uh, let's see how close are we. Oh, 500 feet. 500 meters. <laughs> go, go, go. Ah, oh, the explosions in this game. So loud. So loud. And then, this is one of the things I like uh, about the the, the uh, cockpit view is the radar altitude where it'll show you how high you are. And actually in later episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and land on the MUN by using, or by um, being in the in, in cockpit view. So that should be interesting. I've always landed using outside view, so still about 140 meters left. Let's go back outside. Hey, we're almost there. Oh man, it's going to be a long walk over there. I may fast forward it a bit for you guys so you don't have to sit there and watch Jebediah run. And that is if the game doesn't crash. When Jeb gets out, let's see if he can find his footing this time. Yep. All right. So I am going to run home, and I will bring you back once I'm there. So apparently, <laughs> if you just jump, Jeb dies. So I guess that is the <laughs> that's the end of that flight. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. So anyway, um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, other than Jeb.
falling through the earth or through Kerbin, I would say that was a successful first mission for the brand new space program of the K Kerbal States of America. I think that's the name I gave the country. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for the first episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Next time, what we're going to do is go to the moon and make a landing. Uh, until then, have a good day, night, whatever, and I will see you later. Cheers.